tell you guys, this whole 50 degree weather, not really a fan of it. <laughs> I'd rather have it be 75 and sunny. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So today's video is gonna be some walleye fishing. I know recently on the channel, there has been a ton of walleye fishing, but you guys really seem to enjoy the walleye fishing, so we're gonna keep on pumping it out. Plus it is one of my favorite species to go for, and it's also the spring run, so obviously I'm gonna be hitting the rivers going for some walleyes. But in today's video, I'm actually gonna be not going with Brandon. I'm gonna be going with my fiance, Caitlin. You guys have seen her on the channel many times before. If you guys are new to the channel, I have a fiance, I'm engaged. She likes to do some fishing here and there, but it has to be the right weather. Today's supposed to be 60 degrees, so we're gonna be testing out the new boat and we're just gonna be seeing if we can get on top of some eyes. Real quick though, before the video starts, I wanna ask you guys if you've noticed anything different about the channel. We have been uploading frequently actually we've been uploading every thursday and sundays right now which is not normal for us because we normally you know we'll upload a video on any random day and then two or three weeks later we'll upload another one on another random day and you guys are probably like what the heck happened to these guys who are they are they even youtubers do they fish blah 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 i know we're very inconsistent but Thanks to John over at Mindac Outdoors. He's kind of like our manager. He's not really our manager, but he definitely has been helping us uh, get back on the grind. And we are doing Thursday, Sunday uploads for pretty much the remainder of the year. Uh, the only exception to that is gonna be if we have extra videos, we're gonna be uploading on Tuesdays also. Hopefully we can maintain that. We really want to keep that schedule, bring more videos for you guys. So you are gonna be seeing a ton of videos from us and it should be really good year, even with the circumstances that we're dealing with right now. Trying to make the most of it, hopefully you guys are as well. But anyways, I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get the boat ready and we're gonna hit the water. So let's get after it. surprised to sing floats you know Nick and Brandon putting it together I just you know I hope for the best but <laughs> okay well we just made it to the spot I have never fished this stretch of the river we actually went off of Beans Eddy and we're down here in Mosinee if you guys are familiar with that stretch of river uh, right now we're kind of just fishing the first bend around the corner uh, into some slack water and we're just gonna see if we can get some walleyes jigging now the Wisconsin River we've been hitting a lot lately Brandon and I obviously Caitlin's with me today this is her first time out on the river mm -hmm. like in a boat she's walleye fished I think like once from shore like a couple years ago but yeah first time out on the Wisconsin in a boat and first time in Brandon and I's new boat so that's pretty exciting Hopefully we can get a keeper because it seems like that's almost impossible out on the Wisconsin, but I don't know, water temp went down a little bit. These fish are definitely still pre-spawn, so anything's possible. It is extremely windy, so if you have a hard time hearing me, that's why. But yeah, so we're just going to get set up here and... You have a fish? No, <laughs> oh, I, I thought just you had a fish. Was. But yeah, we're going to get set up here and... We're going to hopefully get on top of some fish, so stay tuned, guys. Okay, one's hooked up. <laughs> right, one right after the other. That could be a keeper. Oh, gosh. Boat uh, flips it. Boat flip. Well, this one is 14 inches. Nothing huge. Nothing huge. But K1's out here catching them. <laughs> Been struggling so far today. But yep. switched up the rig. We're using some sinkers floating jig. Can I see it? We're yeah, here. I'm bringing it in. Floating jig and check out the sinkers. You guys will get a kick out of this. <laughs> Didn't have a half ounce, but I had two quarter ounce. <laughs> Tied them together. Look at that. But it's been working. Two fish. This is the first one we got on film though. In a matter of seconds. Matter of seconds. So hopefully we get some more here. Could be good. Uh, Maybe it's just fighting. Oh no, this is... Well, if it's bigger than the last one, I can net it. Okay, alright, okay. Nope. I'm just a pro at boat flipping. <laughs> well, if it would have been a keeper, which I believe it is. 
then uh oh no. ew <laughs> that's so gross yeah they're milking oh yeah, my god oh Let's get a measurement of this guy gotta be 15 and it is not 15. 14, 14 and a quarter well 14 and a quarter inch walleye for Caitlin. Doesn't like the, the whole milking thing, do you? No, that's disgusting. Get a release on that guy. Well, <sighs> <laughs> you like catching them, just not when they do that. Yeah, but this is a good setup. If you haven't tried it yet, boys, you should probably do it. Yeah, see, I'm jigging. Well, yeah, I'm jigging. And I'm the and one catching I'm not fish. Catching fish. <laughs> Caitlin just got broke off on a fish. And that was my only floating jig. I'm doing the same thing except for Ooh, just a normal. Wow. A baby. That's a freaking giant. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Wisconsin <laughs> River. We've been saying in the last couple of videos, chock full of fish this size. It's unbelievable. Well, got him out. Squirmy little guy. <laughs> but the setup's working. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I have for tackle that. I'm gonna put on Caitlin's line now that I don't have a floating jig. And I also don't have any more of these jigs either, or of these hooks. Next size up is this, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know how confident I am with that, but it's all we got, so we're gonna have to do it. This one feels a little better, but we're fishing in a lot of current, actually. I tossed that one over into the, right on the edge. It's probably 14 inches is what it probably is. <laughs> Probably. Well, you never know. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely better than the last one I caught, that's for sure. Pop that out. There he is. Little, little walleye. But, still fun. Goal today was pretty much just to get out here and to catch numbers. I mean, obviously we always want to keep her just for like a catch and cook or a meal or whatever. But the goal was to get Caitlin on top of some fish and the Wisconsin River is good for that. So I'm gonna bump this one though, real quick. Yeah, yep, 13 and a half actually, just a little guy. But, oh well, we did it. We came out and caught fish. You're a great tour guy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I try to be. <laughs> gonna get a release and maybe catch a few more. I don't know. It is getting late and I think there is a storm actually gonna be coming through here shortly. Don't really wanna get rained on. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes in the next couple minutes here. Come up and look at the hummingbird here. You can see 15 feet of water, 44 water temp. Look at all of the freaking fish down there. Tons and tons of walleyes down there, except for none of them are biting. Unless we leave it right down on the bottom, right, Caleb? Right. Hold up. Oh my God. The biggest one of the day. That, Seriously? That's got to be the smallest wall I've ever seen. That is the smallest wall I've ever seen. This is something John from Mindac Outdoors catches, but <laughs> here on NB Edits, here on NB Edits, we don't catch fish like this. Well, Caitlin does apparently, but... <laughs> Maybe I should wow. fish with John then. That's a true Wisconsin River giant. And on that note, we're probably going to actually end up going home. Uh, one, because we haven't really caught anything today. Two, they're really small, the ones that we have caught. And three, Caitlin really has to go potty, she said. So, <laughs> you guys, uh, if you have fished with women before on your boat, you understand that when they have to go, they have to go, and we have to go now, because otherwise you're gonna get yelled at. And she's hungry. For my burgers I wanna make on the grill. And <sighs> you put all of that together, slow fishing, has to pee, hungry that's just not a good recipe for me so i should probably uh, start packing some stuff up here and get the heck home when i see you guys next we will be cooking in the burgers. kitchen and we are going to be cooking some burgers for you guys so stay tuned all right guys so made her home Outside right now, grilling up the burgers, chilling with honey. I don't know if you guys can see her. She's chilling. What are you doing? Chewing on a stick, huh? Yeah, that is her favorite pastime. She loves chewing on sticks. Also loves to play keep away. Even though she does like to play fetch a lot, but uh, doesn't always like to give me it, so. 
there's that. So today's adventure was not as planned. I mean, I was expecting to go out there and actually just destroy the walleyes. You know, I was expecting a 50 fish day. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Oh, I'm actually getting a call from Brandon. What's up? Well, hello, hello, how's it going? It's going. I was just shooting an outro, actually. What's up? Well, we got the job done today. Got the job done, what does that mean? Well, uh, went out and filmed some stuff behind the house today. Found a couple squirrels. Oh boy. Tested out the new pellet gun. Oh boy. It was pretty awesome, not gonna lie. I just figured I'd check in with you, see how you guys did, and you know, let you know. Uh, hunting was a lot of fun today, actually. Hunting video, real soon. All right. Well, hey, I'm gonna hang up on you here, finish grilling and filming my outro, but uh, I'll finish Yeah, don't burn the food. No. Don't burn the food. No, we don't want that. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon, bud. All right, sounds good. Take her easy. All right, bye. See ya. Wow, look at that guy, freaking interrupting my outro here. Should probably check these burgers before they freaking end up burning. Seem to be doing okay. But yeah, so like what I was saying, I was expecting like a 50 fish day, and that definitely just did not end up happening. I think we caught around 12 or so, and my dad and his boat caught around, I don't know, he said like 20, but they only caught one keeper. We didn't even catch one remotely close to a keeper. I think the biggest we had was maybe 14 inches. You know, the Wisconsin River is stock full of walleyes like that. And if you guys have been paying attention, I think last week the DNR put out uh, like a 50 question survey, you know, random questions about fishing and hunting throughout the state of Wisconsin. And you could go on there, you know, sign in and answer the questions to help them vote. And I think one of the things actually was from central Wisconsin, which is Wassa, uh, down, all the way down on the Wisconsin River. They want to make it one over 28. So only one 28 inch walleye and you can't keep any. Right now it's five fish you can keep total and it's 15 to 20 inches you can keep and then 20 to 28 you can't keep so what they're voting on yes is one over 28 uh let me know what you guys think about that you know is that going to be something that you would like to see happen on the wisconsin river because me personally i don't think they should do one over 28 but i do think they should reduce the limit and i do think they should still keep the 20 to 28 that way you know you can still go down and catch some fish if you want to I don't think we should take that away completely, but I do think we need to manage it a little better because there are a lot of shorts in there and as soon as that fish does get 15 inches, it just gets kept and that's it. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed, uh, you know, catching some fish, watching Caitlin. She's always fun to have on the channel. If you guys want to see her more, also let me know down in the comments. Stick forward to some hunting videos, more fishing, got opener in about two weeks or so, depending on the time you guys are seeing this video. And we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a lot of camping and fishing coming up real soon. So stay tuned. We got a lot coming. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Until next time, tight lines from NB Edits.